Ladies and gentlemen, Lynch Gaming here. Um, this is a tutorial for EODGC. Uh, I am making a little bit of a tutorial. Uh, basically, this is going to be uh, how I play uh, my War Thunder. Um, I like a realistic battles just because of the realism and the uh, turn time and everything and all the mechanics in the game, which I'll explain later in a future video. Uh, but I want to talk to you about control settings for certain types of people like Air Realistic and Air AD, which is Air Arcade Battles. Uh, arcade Battles tends to have a little unrealistic controls, like all the turn times are basically the same. So basically for Air RB or Air Realistic Battles, uh, I have it set to full real controls, but I go back to mouse aim after I do these following steps. So... What I do is, you know, my mom, large caliber, small caliber, both in the same thing. Open bomb bay door is on five for a reason. Uh, drop bomb is on space, and if you want to drop a bomb series, you can use, uh, which basically you can drop all of them at once. Um, I set it to left control space. Uh, the fire rocket, uh, which is my mouse button on the um, top, and my fire rocket solver, which is my mouse button on the bottom. And a fire missile as well. Um, aim axis for the Fritz X or any guided missile rather for the Fritz X mainly is going to be right here. And I have no relative control set. I have maximum value at Alt D and then my minimum value is at Alt A. The only reason why I said it like this is because I like to play the Heinkel H6 a lot and the uh, Heinkel 177 which are pretty good bombers for the German line. Um, for the uh, Shiraz Musiak cannon, I put num2, numpad2, which is uh, for, you know, uh, the cannons on the uh, Donier 217M, which have top front, uh, front uh, top cannons, almost like a gun pod, basically. basically um, you can attack the bombers and give them a little sneak attack. Uh... Also, for, you know, reload is the same. Throttle access. Uh, I set my mouse wheel for throttle access. Uh, the multi mouse wheel multiplier is going to be at 100 because I want, um, if I have to take off immediately, like if I see an enemy aircraft incoming, I'll press shift and just throttle it all the way. Um, I also set, instead of W and S as controls, I also put shift and left control shift and left control shift left shift and left control as a uh, axis sorry and my relative sensitivity is going to be set I don't know why but it decided it not so we're going to go ahead switch that um yeah my roll axis is like I said is going to be D A left whatever you want to call it as a matter of fact I got to change this real quick I don't know why it was like that did it change okay my Pitch access is maximum value is going to be S, which is going to be for the high pitch where you're pitching up at a positive angle of attack. And the minimum value, which you're going to be going at a negative angle of attack, uh, which you want to try to avoid highly. Uh, my yaw axis is going to be Q and E, which is the same as it's always been. My roll sensitivity and my pitch sensitivity is always going to be the same. My yaw sensitivity is going to be the same. Uh, for jets, uh, if you got jets and they got boosters, I prefer to uh, have ignite boosters at numpad four because uh, for some reason it does better uh, for that. And the two gold gunners, because I like to have a custom battle, we just fly around and you know have fun and whatnot. I set that to numpad one. Um, gunner view sensitivity. I actually got to change that a little bit. Aiming control speed is definitely gonna be set at zero. Um, all this is all default settings, look back, look down, um, trying to think, open cockpit, you can, you know, set it, whatever you have your, to your liking, um, I just prefer to set it to num6 and num7, okay, this is where you want to go, because on Air realistic battles or simulator battles, as I prefer to do, which is air realistic, you want to set your engine control mode, okay? This is the best preferably settings I have right now. I set my engine control mode to 9. And then the Tugel engine, you know, just press I, which is the default. And for mixture, 
for these two, I have a value, uh, which all with also a relative control. Because if you don't have a relative control, you're not going to be able to control it. You'll have to hold it all the time in order to get the you know it's it gets annoying having to press the button while you're in flight. So let's just put it that way. Increased value is by two. Decreased value is by one. Okay, that's my best setting for mixture. Uh, again, these are my preferences for a good aerialistic battle, and I'll give a proper demonstration with my buddy as well. Um, uh, crazy one three three three. He's a good buddy of mine. Uh, propeller pitch. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry, I had a little burp. Six is my value, and three five is my value for um the propeller pit the propeller pitch. Uh, if you want to have auto prop propeller pitch, you could just I set it to num num numpad three. My bad, sorry. For radiator, okay. Now for radiator, you want to keep an eye on that because uh, radiators in actual prop, like uh, for instance, let's say you have an engine that uh, float carb has float carburetor failures a lot. So like Spitfire Mark One A's and Two A's. And Mark II Bs and uh, some of the earliest uh, American planes as well. You want to have that set because if you don't have it set, you're just going to keep getting the fuel ruptured in your entire engine and carburetor, and it's gonna it's not going to run make your engine and run smooth. So you're going to have to have that value set. And for relative control, you set yes, and for relative control sensitivity is forty percent. Uh, I will post a link to my uh, preferences on the description down below. This will be a uh, for air realistic battles as well. If you want to use my settings to be a better War Thunder pilot, uh, please, it would mean an honor if you were to use my controls. It would be an honor. I will post it on my Reddit as well. And for oil radiator, like um, early sp uh, Spitfires, every single prop has an oil radiator, or water radiator, whatever you want to call it, yada yada. Increase your value by 8, and the decreased value is at 7. And the same thing with the relative control, because I want to be able to control it without the sensitivity so high that I might damage my engine. Alright. Now, if you want to do, like, cinematic videos or anything like that, you could do magnetos. Like L control uh, L shift one, and then previous magneto was just L control L shift, left shift two. Uh, prop feathering was just good to uh, turn off engines when needed. If like for instance, if you got a uh, fire in your engine and somebody shot it down, uh, you'll be able to do that. And I set uh, engine controls uh, on here for a reason. I make cinematic videos, and it's. Everybody in actual battles actually started two engines at once. And if it was a dual prop, it would only be one engine and then the other one, which I said it for in my uh, video, which I'm is actually yeah gonna be upcoming soon, and you'll see what I mean. So, and I also have an RPM control, which you really need uh, set. Uh, increased value was equals, and then it's gonna be minus. Uh, yeah. And then the relative control says it too <sighs> Is it 40%? Sorry, I had a yawn. Uh, so, yeah. These are my controls to be a better, you know. And then I switch. Oh, and P.S. You do not want to run fuel roll, full roll, fuel, full real controls. You want to go back to mouse aim. And with air realistic battles, it'll still feel like full real controls because your full real controls are set in manual engine. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, Lynch Gaming uh, is not has a uh, Lynch Gaming web page on Facebook. Please support it as well as EODGC. We will be posting videos daily, maybe hopefully soon. Actually, no, we're gonna post videos every Friday. Uh, this is a tutorial for the uh, play style that I normally like to play, which is air realistic. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. We are currently trying to get up to 200 subscribers. As you see on my YouTube channel, please comment, like the video, share it with your friends. Also, it would be an honor if you were to use my controls. Honestly, it would be an honor. 
my controls will probably be the best to help you out. So if you want to get the max out of your realism and to be able to control your engine the right way and to get, uh, you know, all that stuff, feel free to use my controls. Lynch Gaming is out, and I hope you guys enjoy this video, and have a great Friday.